to the ninth. Ray moving in behind the gate. Constant change. Tom Simmons, Papa Deck, Bob Decker. Randolph Duke, Matt Cox, Taser Gunhart Walker, Captain Kick and J.D. Finn. Big thank you to the connections of these five exceptional Pacers for bringing them to the Brown County Fair. Some very, very valuable animals moving behind the starting gate here. Headed by the eight-year-old gelding that's made over $876,000 in his career, Taser Gun. Constant Change, the five-year-old, has actually defeated Taser Gun a couple of times this year at the Chicago Raceways. And Constant Change here, of course, has the advantageous rail position. Taser Gun handicapped out to that fourth position that's from the random draw three other good pacers in behind the gate Papa deck is all stride here they come they're off and pacing constant change on the inside he breaks very quickly Randolph Duke goes right with him captain kick and taser gun is decided to wait and taser gun away forth usually brilliantly fast out of the gate the strategy here was not to let him fly. They head down the back stretch. $17,000 at stake in constant change. Tom Simmons will use the strategy. He'll slow the pace down now. As they race towards the quarter mile marker, Randolph Duke is right there second. Captain Kick is pacing third. First quarter was in 29 and 2. Pretty slow for this class of horse. It's constant change by a length and a half. Here comes Taser Gun. He's out and rolling off that slow quarter. He's moving up quickly for Hart Walker. They're off the three eights. It's constant change on the inside. Taser gun rolls up on the outside to challenge. Randolph Duke and Captain Kick are right with the leaders and Papa Deck. Back pacing very fast, but out of it now. As they race past the half, it's constant change on the inside. Taser gun on the outside. The half in 58 and one fifth of a second. Off the half in 58 and one. They race around the lower turn. Constant change by a length on the inside. Taser gun is parked out there second. Randolph Duke is getting a beautiful trip here for Matt Cox. He's third in the pocket, followed by Captain Kick. He's right there with the leaders. And Papa Deck as we race towards a three quarter mile marker. And constant change now opens up a length and a half. Taser gun still out there second. Randolph Duke is racing third and constant change is flying now. The three quarters at 126 and two and constant change off of very soft fractions is going to have plenty left. He leads by five with an eighth of a mile to go off the three quarters at 126 and two. It's constant change against the clock now. Captain Kick coming on to be second. It's constant change. Tom Simmons cruising to the wire. Let's give him a big hand folks. Constant change is going to win the ninth. Captain Kick will be second, Taser Gun, Randolph Duke, and Papa Deck. To Jerry and Helen Logan, Tom and Benita Simmons, Hunt Harness Horses. Let's give them a big hand. 154 and 1, folks. They win our finale. And Kurt Becker's trackside for the interview. First of all, Ed, we're thrilled that our director of agriculture, Chuck Hartke, was able to stay with us tonight to personally make presentation of his trophy. And uh, Tex Most, the Bureau Chief of County Fairs and Horse Racing, and Ann Sundin with the state of Illinois, all able to stick around tonight. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us. D director Hartke, yes. you're, you will be at the state fair, right? I will be at the state fair all 10 days. Y'all come. <laughs> and we will look forward to seeing you there, director. Thanks again for sticking around tonight. Tom, <laughs> we've made kind of a habit of this this week. First question. You go boiling out of there, you get to the lead, taser gun settles back and forth at the start. What was going through your mind at that point? Uh, it looked pretty good from there. <laughs> I figured that might have been the game plan. Uh, when Hart made his move with taser gun, he got up alongside your horse. Did you ever have any doubt your horse could turn back the challenge? No, we had slow fractions in, you know, and if you turned it around, it'd be the other way around, too. You know, it's just he's a great horse, and you can't take nothing away from him, but things were kind of my favor today, so... The aged horse and gelding pace at the Illinois State Fair is coming up Monday, August 11th. The folks here in Brown County go to the State Fair on that date. Is there a shot that they might see this horse, or will he go back to Chicago? It just depends, but if uh, I may race him there, see if he can go a little bit faster. That's the fastest track in the world. It's a great track. And, Tom, I've got one more question for you. I noticed your longtime caretaker, Speedy, standing at the head of this horse. How important is it to have a good staff backing you up? It is very good. You know, you're out here seeing the, the drivers and some of the trainers out here in the spotlight but the guys in the back that are wanting to do it 
and uh, my wife and my crew, they're, they're about as good as I can get. I think they're as good as they come. Tom, thanks for taking time to race with us. $8,500 coming to your way and the rest of the owners of this horse. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Simmons. Thank you, Kurt. And Ed, one more note. In the time that the Brown County Fair has hosted this age pace, I believe Tom is the first driver ever to win it twice. Back to you. Great, Kurt. Go down there, Kurt, and reach into that barrel and pull us out a winner of that $100. I'll give the results now. They're official for race number nine. Number one, Constant Change was the winner. Number two, Papa Deck finished fifth. Number three, Randolph Duke was fourth. Number four, Taser Gun was third. Number five, Captain Kick finished second. 